Let's do it, let's do it. Let's do it, go. Imagine being forced to abandon ship because your boat blows up. Now you're stranded in the ocean, surrounded by deadly man-eating sharks. There's about four or five down there. Mm. It's getting harder and harder to see. It's about to get even scarier. That was close. Oh, I've, just, I've just been bumped again. The two divers are taking part in what's said to be the most dangerous experiment ever for Discovery Shark Week. They have to spend 48 hours in open water facing off against white-tipped sharks, the most aggressive in the ocean. They're allowed to use life jackets only at night in case they fall asleep. The rest of the time, they're treading water. And they're probing us now. It's getting really hectic. We are having to fend them off every single time. It's crazy. And then this fin comes up right next to my face like this. I was like, oh! We had to ask adventurers Paul de Gelder, who lost an arm and a leg in a shark attack in Australia, and his friend James Glancy, why they would agree to spend two days in open water circled by killer sharks. It's a sense of adventure. The sharks were coming in thick and heavy. But we also work uh, in conservation and love sharks. The stunt is inspired by the sinking of the USS Indianapolis by Japanese torpedoes in World War II. Of the 900 initial survivors, only 316 made it out alive. Many others were killed when sharks attacked them in a feeding frenzy. It was referenced in the movie Jaws. You on the Indianapolis? What happened? Sometimes the shark would go away. Sometimes he wouldn't go away. When he comes at you, he doesn't seem to be living until he bites you. And their modern day thriller taught this duo a valuable lesson. Even though it's a great adventure, it's exciting at times. There just simply are so few sharks left.